Moria, who fear to go into those mines. The dwarves delved too greedily and too deep. You know what they awoke in the darkness of Khazad-dûm. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and this is my Lord of the Rings hobby. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a one foot by one foot display board for the Mines of Moria or any fantasy game uh, cabin thing you want to do. Uh, so the first thing I did is I went upstairs and found some uh, cutouts for XPS film and I just literally cut them to size uh, and then I'll glue them on with some PVA glue. I am quite uh, generous with the PVA glue and ended up actually going back and adding more to it to make sure it stuck. And this took about a day. I let it for about a day to dry uh, but I did stuff in between to keep the project going. Uh, the only thing I would say if you are going to use super glue please make sure you use super glue which is foam safe and it doesn't expand either or anything like that so there is multiple ones i'm not too sure but yeah have a quick look out on those so as you can see i'm just using a old brush i'm just using that to shove uh, the pva glue everywhere so once i was happy with the coverage like i said all i've done there is add a load of books to get a bit of weight and what i wanted to do with this uh, build was give it a couple of layers a really basic thing so what i did is on the uh, cutter so please do be careful with this if you're under 16 make sure an adult is with you or get an adult to do it but I just basically on the cutter there's different sides of the blade like sizes where it goes along little engraves I use that as a quick measurement now these don't want to be perfect for me personally I was just doing some a really rough cu uh, cut on there and going from there just nice and easy so as you can see I'm doing some across the top I score it in and then I slowly add pressure bit by bit and then I do it along the sides slowly bringing out the other step so this is them finished off nice and easy i've even put a little bit of grooves in there to show like little slabs of stone what they put down it's really rough uh so what i do also later on is get a knife and i just scribble uh as basically scratch away any of the excess now this is me adding the rock texture which is really simple all i do here is get the knife the side of the knife and i just literally dig in and out going along it basically like scraping but every now and again i'll take a chunk out of it and it gives that sort of rock formation as you see in the film especially when they're walking through Moria along the side of the walls uh, so this is just like small little details which when's all painted uh, when it is all painted should I say when's all painted when it's all painted it will stand out especially with the dry brushing so the best thing what I love about doing stone is the tin foil trick and all you do is roll up a ball of tin foil and you're just gonna put that all over your surface of what you want to be stone uh, if you want to also as you can see here I'm going in one spot if you dig down quite deep you can make it look like a a worn out basically it's like a hole but not a hole I don't know what like a little dip in the stonework which would be quite natural so every now and again I will purposely add a little bit of pressure in just to give it like a little bit of a concave moment I go over the top of the other rocks which I kind of regretted because I end up then going back over with a knife because it it didn't make it look as good as it should have done that was me just testing out uh basically trying a technique on it and it didn't work once i was happy with how the bricks uh the stonework looked and so far from the cutting out all i did here was add a load more pva glue <coughs> excuse me all on the top made sure it's really uh quite a thick layer and then all i did then again is added some weights to it and then i left this for about a day a day and a bit went to work and then came. once i was happy with the uh look out uh the feeler and made sure it was nice and stuck on uh, I then just went around again with a ball of tin foil all around the bottom bit, got in those uh, nice little stonework. As you can see, it looks really nice. I'll show you a quick update now on the next bit to show you how it looks at different angles. Okay, so here's a quick update. So we're happy with how everything looks. We've done our tin foil, the glue's all done, the stairs are looking really nice, especially the cliff edges. So what we're going to do now is go into painting. So all I did here was got some acrylic paint black paint and i just did that all over i was going to spray with mechanica standard uh, but one the color comes out not how i want it and two i wasn't that keen on trying on foam uh, so i do believe it is a foam safe spray i did use it on a bit but again i wasn't going to risk it for all the uh, time and drying time i've already wasted or done should I say so i didn't want to waste any more time so again, once this is uh, dried off, all the black, what I did, it came back uh, the next day. I was going to just dry brush it with a grey and then move up, but I didn't like the look of it. So what I did here is got Mechanica standard uh, grey out of the pot. 
and I just added a, quite a bit of a watered down version and I just did this all over again give it another nice light coat or a finished coat of grey around the uh, whole of the board once I was happy with that I added some Dawnstone on a dry brush now I was running out of this so a lot of the areas aren't going to come up as good as they should uh, but I used it and it looks alright I was happy with the end products which you'll see later on but yeah so I was running out you also noticed a bit of discoloration on certain bits of the top bit I had to then go over Mechanica standard grey because some of the dry brushing was a little bit heavy in certain areas so I quickly tidied that up I haven't used any washes on this it's literally just been a base colour and then dry brushing completely uh, and this bit here what you can see discoloured towards the bottom of your frame on the left that there will uh, disappear and so they be worked in a bit so the next uh, paint what we're going to use now is the Terminator uh, Stone and this is like a, a creamy white which is really good for picking up those edge highlights as you can see here so again I added this on and I did it quite heavy in some areas lighter in the other and this was just to literally go over the whole of the board and I'm not going to do it heavy like heavy brushing I might over dry brush in certain areas and then leave it a bit elsewhere but you just want to quickly do this really quick all over getting those highlights nice and easy and you can see it's starting to look like a lot of stonework already any bits you do do slightly wrong use your finger anything and then just quickly rub away and it will actually get rid of a lot of the heavy stuff as you can see I started with the stairs just to try and get out and make sure I was happy with the colouring and again we're going to try and blend in this little bit of the mistake at the bottom and there we have it guys a really simple build if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe it's free and it helps support this is a really easy video uh, and really easy paint scheme so I hope you've enjoyed it